Let's come into our mountain pose and get ready for our yoga practice. Just gentle and doing things for our upper body today. So inhaling, let's bring our arms to shoulder level, coming into mountain pose, stretching out your arms, keeping your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders still down, spread your toes. Exhale, your hands behind you, stretch that spine apart, and then pivot at your hips, exhale, open. So the ankles, knees, and hips are lined up. The arms are coming toward your head. And just move your chin around, starting to release that neck and shoulder area. And then bend your knees slightly. Drop the sitting bones, lift the ribs, and wind all the way up from the bottom of the spine into a back bend. Shoulders are down, crown reaching away, spread your toes, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale back upright into mountain pose. And take a moment, feeling that circulation start increasing. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and clasp your hands behind you. The sit on the outside, and then lift your heart again, stretching your spine in the back bend, and pivot over. Just drop as deeply as you feel like, and bring those hands towards your head with the shoulders moving around. And again, with the knees slightly bent and the chin in, wind from the bottom of the spine up into another back bend, lifting your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, and breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel that circulation increasing as that energy flows. Side stretch next, so bring your arm down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling and above your shoulder. Stretch the hands away and lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, make sure you're not leaning forward. And just keep your arms by your ear and as you stretch out your fingertips and down to that foot. And then inhale up, release that arm, bring the other arm out palm toward the ceiling, and above your shoulder. Again, push it away and lean to the side. The elbows, ribs start stretching apart as you push your foot even deeper and reach the fingers and head away. Inhale upright, release your arm. Feel the sides a little bit more open, and then really stretch your spine apart so we can twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, Hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch the spine apart, and twist. Take a breath. Keep the arms by your ears, and come on over. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Feet hip width apart, arms are right next to your ears, sitting bones and lifting. Feel the back of the legs get a stretch. And then weight still on both feet as you come back all the way up and lift your heart into the upper body only back. And remember, when you're twisting, you don't want to overwork your low back. Shoulders are down, elbows are back. Chest high, keep breathing. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, bring, bring the arms by your ears and the sitting bones down, stretch all the way apart, and twist to the other side. Another breath, coming, exhaling, through. And again, just deepen as much as you want in that position, sitting bones lifting, getting those legs stretching. See if the weight's still on both feet evenly. See if your arms are still next to your ears. And again, when you're ready on an inhalation, come out all the way up, lift your heart, stretch the elbows back, and you're in another upper body back bend. Take a moment to breathe, stretching things out. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders staying down, bring your fingertips up right above your shoulders. 
Spread your toes, get that weight into the ball of the foot and base of the toe. And heel area, not the toes themselves. And then let's swan dive. So bring the arms to shoulder level, pivot forward, palms toward the floor. Get parallel to the floor as much as you can. And stretch things out. And then just drop into ragdoll. Take a moment breathing, lifting your sitting bones. Move your chin around. Release any tension. Bring your hands behind your legs for extra stretch if you'd like to pull in more. And feel that back of your body stretch. And then arms back to the center. Roll your weight all the way up and into mountain pose once again. Take a moment there, feeling the back, exhaling tension. So let's see, let's bring your hands onto your low back and fingertips down toward your hips. Bring your elbows toward each other, feel that chest area expand, and then push your chest toward the ceiling and your head back. Spread your toes, keep your hips over your ankles, and just come into a gentle upper body back bend. Keep those shoulder blades going down toward your waist. And just let your heart rise. Take a moment breathing, just a little back bend. Chin toward your chest and come on back up and release. Shoulders circling back and down a couple of times. And let's go to the wall and stretch the shoulders a little bit. So facing the wall, bring your hand right in front of your shoulder and fingertips up. And then turn the fingertips to the side, 90 degrees, so right hand to the right side, fingertips. And then walk in until your forearm is on the wall. And then turn your whole body away from that shoulder. So the hand stays on the wall as much as you can. And you're just letting that whole heart area get a little bit of stretch across the upper body. Take a moment to breathe as you exhale, maybe even pivot a little deeper into that if that feels okay for your shoulder, but we have it. Don't overdo it. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. And then on your next exhalation, turn back to your hand, turn the fingertips up, and release that arm next to the other one. And just feel the circulation. And maybe that hand you stretched up the shoulder on is a little bit, the fingertips further toward the floor. So we have to balance it out. So bring the other hand to the wall, turn the fingertips to the side, and again, walk in until your forearm is on the wall. Feel that shoulder, let it relax, and then turn away from that arm. And again, you're feeling that chest area, shoulder area expand a little bit more. Take a moment there, breathing and relaxing, staying there or turning deeper. If that works for you, just move those feet maybe a little further and stretch that shoulder just a little bit more. Take a moment to breathe, just relaxing. And on an exhalation again, turn toward the wall, fingertips up and release that arm back to your side. Feel those shoulders a little bit more released. Sitting bones down, crown high, and let's do our balance practice. So find your favorite balance foot, always start on the better one. Lift the toes on that foot, get the ball of the foot, base of the toe area connecting, but not the toes, so don't crunch the toes down. Keep lifting through the arch. Remember, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder are lined up, so make sure that knee is going toward your second toe. You may need to pull in at the top of the thigh to do that. Sink into that foot, keep that core active to support your low back and reach the crown to the ceiling. When you're ready, bring the other foot up. So remember, again, roll in at the top of the thigh so that foot doesn't cross over. Bring it as close toward your heart as it wants to go. And then when you're stable, circle your ankle. Make sure we keep those ankles flexible because we don't want to be stiff old people and end up falling. And then it's a flexing point a couple times before you put your foot down, straightening it out. 
take what worked, shift it to the other side, and prove what you need to. So make sure you're not ripping with the toes. You want to have the ball of the foot and heel evenly supporting you. The toes gripping releases that and makes it less effective. So don't rip with your toes. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up for active. Shoulders relaxing down. And again, when you're ready, just reach that head toward the ceiling as you bring your other leg. And bring it as high as you want. You can stay close to the floor if that's where you are today. Circle your ankle when you're ready, making sure that we keep those ankles nice and working. And flex and point as you put it back down. Coming back into mountain pose. Take a moment to breathe, bringing your hands to your heart, shoulders down. Look at your hands, inhale, bring them toward the ceiling. Another little back bend, following your thumbs behind you as you lift your heart. Remember, don't lift your chin too much. You want the neck to keep stretching. Exhale, follow your hands down to your heart, pivot at your hips, and then drop into ragdoll again. Hands slide up under your knees and stretch your whole spine. Get that lengthening going, elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then exhale back down. Knees bent, hands together, inhaling. Again, come on all the way up. Another little back bend with the thumbs behind you as you look at them, lifting your heart. Swan dive, so bring the arms out this time. Pivot at your hips, come all the way down. Keep those shoulder blades still going towards your waist. Stretch it out halfway down. And again, drop into random. Sitting bones, lift, tuck in your chin. Pull in deeper if you love it. Give that back a good stretch. And releasing the arms to the front. Bend your knees, coming to the floor, into our child pose transition. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment there, just breathe. Exhale, many tension. And inhale, sitting up, and we'll come into step position. So press out through your heels. Pull the toes back, knees and toes up toward the ceiling, sitting bones behind you, and crown toward the ceiling. Keep the shoulders relaxed, where the shoulder blades always going down toward your waist, spread it apart. And we're going to work the shoulders a little bit. So take a moment to breathe, bring one arm out, pull down on your hand, pushing out through the wrist, so the back of the wrist gets a good stretch. Elbow straight, shoulder down, crown high, just relax the lower body. And then pull the fingers back, push the heel of the palm out. And just work that bottom of your arm and feel that wrist giving a little stretch on the bottom. And then release, hands straight out, spread the fingers. And let's push the fingers one at a time, stretching the back of your hand. And then when you've done them all, pull the fingers back, feeling the palm get a little stretch. And then spread the fingers out, pull the thumb inside, wrap your fingers gently around, and then tighten into that National Geographic bud. And we're going to let our flower bloom in a moment. So really tighten, tighten, tighten through that fist. Keep the shoulder relaxed. Keep the spine Erect and that core active supporting you. And then slowly, slowly, slowly let the pedal fingers release, letting that National Geographic slow motion flower bloom. So as those fingers come apart, just spread them out and turn them to the palm to the sun and the sky, pressing out through the whole hand, spreading those fingers wide. And then shake it all out, shake out the shoulder, shake out the arm. Take a moment feeling the difference on your two sides. And we'll do the other one. Arm out, shoulder level, palm toward the floor, pull down with your other hand. And again, just feel the back of the wrist. Let it stretch as much as it wants and needs to. Remember, personal practice, 
you've had any injuries in your wrists, remember that you may have them react even more, so be gentle if you need to. And then pulling your fingers back, push the heel of the palm out. Get the other side of the arm working along with that wrist. Breathing into it, relaxing both shoulders. And then spreading your fingers, palm flat to the floor. Work those fingers down, just gently pushing each one, one at a time. Pulling back as you go the other way. No need to crack those knuckles, just gentle pull. And then again, spread the fingers way out, and then gently pull the thumb in, wrap your fingers around. Keep that arm nice and straight, the shoulder relaxing, the other one also, and then tighten, tighten, tighten through that bud fist. Take a moment to breathe. Don't forget your legs, those toes still up, pulling back, the heels pressing out. Take a moment to breathe, tightening that fist, really tight, feeling it. And then when you're ready, just slowly begin to release those pedals. Each finger just unfurling gently as you're ready to do so. Imagine it slowly, slowly, slowly blooming that National Geographic flower. And again, as you get that whole finger area stretched out, pull the palm forward up toward the sun and the sky, spreading the fingers, really reaching it out heliotropy up to the sun and then shake it all out let those shoulders and arms release and relax take a moment to breathe exhale the tension you can stay in staff position or you can cross your legs but remember do it the opposite of your normal cross so that we do our non-habitual way sitting bones behind you crown toward the ceiling and core, of course, activated. We'll work the shoulders a little bit more with that neck area. So let's bring the chin into your little throat center indentation. And just let the chin come in, relaxing the back of the neck, letting it stretch as much as it wants. Just shoulders relaxing, arms in your lap. And then bring one hand at a time to the back of your head, but don't press, just add weight and let that stretch get a little bit extra. So the more you allow that stretch without pressure, no pushing, just feel that back of your neck getting a little bit more lengthened. Chin in toward your throat. Take a moment and breathe. Just let it stretch and relax. Exhale any tension. And then releasing the hands, down to your knees, tip your chin up, just feeling the back of your neck, and then lift the chin. So remember, keep stretching through the back of your neck as you lift the chin. You want that whole neck stretching up toward the ceiling. And as you get into that throat stretch, just move your jaw around a little, side to side, forward and back. The Neanderthal with that chin jutting forward, maybe. Circle it around. Just feel that throat getting a little bit of work. And then release your jaw back to neutral and tip your head back straight up. And again, just take a moment feeling what's going on and let's switch the legs around for a little bit of balance in that seated position. Shoulders relaxed. And we'll work the sides of the shoulders now. So bring one ear over to the side and keep both shoulders down as you do that. So take a moment and breathe. You can have your hands, palms up to remind you to keep relaxing those shoulders. And just bring the ear as far down as it wants to go. Maybe not very far, that's perfectly fine. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand to the outside of your head. And again, just add weight, not pressure and feel this opposite side stretch a little bit more. Remember, never overdo it. Just do what's right, letting your body relax into the position. As you do, it'll stretch a little more. If that's feeling really good and you want a little bit more stretch, you can bring your hand down and press it to the floor for a little extra if that's something you need in your body. 
So don't overdo it, just relaxing. Make sure you're not pushing with your hand on your head. Take a moment and breathe, just letting it stretch, feeling what's going on. And then releasing your hands back to your lap, tip your head back upright. Notice what's going on and how those two sides feel different. So tip the ear on the other side. And again, go only as far as that feels okay. Relax. Breathe into it. Keep that core active, supporting your spine. Keep stretching up through the base of the skull. And just let that side stretch move through that opposite shoulder. Bring your hand up to the outside of your head as you tip toward that hand. And again, no pressure with your hand, just a little weight. Exhale, letting it relax. Staying there if that's enough. Or bringing your hand down next to you and pressing just gently into that side so that you get a little extra shoulder work through that shoulder and neck area. Take a moment breathing. Remember, no pressure in that hand on your hip. Take a breath. Relax it. Just let it stretch. And then hands back to your lap. And tip your head back upright, feeling what's going on through your body. As you switch your legs for our opposite position. Sitting bones behind you, core active. Stretch that spine apart, especially through the neck. And we're only going to twist the neck this time. So turn from your chin toward one shoulder. Just feel the chin going around. Feel that twist through your neck. And keep both shoulders, both hips facing the front. Take a breath. Just backing out of the driveway, looking behind you as much as you can. And again, relaxing. Deepening only as far as your body wants to go. Don't force it ever. And then stretching up, exhale, tune back to the center. Keep stretching up, exhale, and again, chin to the opposite shoulder. Shoulders are down, spine is stretching apart, and that neck area is twisting only as far as you need it to go. Look back behind you as much or as little as you need to for your choice. Take a breath, exhaling and deepening as much or little as you need. And then again, stretch out through the crown and then turn your chin back to the center, feeling both shoulders and neck and chin area a little bit more activated. And then bring your legs up to the front to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you, core active, and we're going to slowly roll to the back. So keep that core working to support you as you bring your lower back, shoulder blades, and head to the front. As you get all the way down, just take a moment and breathe. I'm going to do one back bend with the neck, so be gentle as much as you need to, fish position. Take your hands, palms down next to your hips and bring your thumbs under your hips. Palms down, elbows slightly bent, draw them in toward your sides, and then press onto your hands, forearms, and elbows and lift your upper body up off the floor. Just go as high as it feels okay. So you're supported on your forearms, hands, and elbows. And you're stretching your whole spine out through the crown. And then lift your chin slightly and tip it toward the ceiling. Feel that back of the neck. Don't crunch it too much. But see if you can bring the top of your head all the way down to the floor as you keep lifting your heart. And you want to have a space from your sitting bones to your crown arching up. You can stay supported on those elbows and arms. Or if you feel like you're comfortable there and your head is touching the floor completely, you can keep that head supporting you and your sitting bones supporting you, arching through the ribs and chest up toward the ceiling and bring out your hands into prayer position with the heels of the palms on your ribs and the fingertips up toward the ceiling, feeling that 
back bend through your whole spine all the way up to the top of your head. If you brought your hands up, bring them back down. And again, support on your arms and elbows to lift your head, chin back toward your chest. And then once more, start at the bottom of the spine, bringing the rest of your body all the way back down into corpse position. Take a moment, just relaxing your body and bring your arms out again to T position for our twist. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. Sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your hips, sitting bones down. Cross your leg over if you want extra low back twist, otherwise keep the knees next to each other and bring the feet off the floor. Exhale, roll the knee over to the opposite side, turn your head the other direction. Shoulders down for that middle back twist, head turning only as much as your neck wants and needs. And knees coming toward the floor for that lower back as much as your body is willing to do. Take a breath. Exhale, relax. Just deepen into your position as much or little as you need for your twist today. Balancing your body and your energy. And then bring your heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back. Uncross that leg. Bring the feet to the floor and straighten it out if you need to. And again, feet off the floor, crossing the leg the other way if you're doing that. And rolling into the twist on the opposite side. Knee coming across toward the floor as much as your lower back wants and needs. Head turning for your neck area if that works for you. Keep those shoulders down. You want that spine in the middle to get that workout as well. Take a breath. Exhale, just release any tightness. Breathe deep. Let the tension go always. Only doing what's right for your body, never forcing the twist. And of course, hold those longer when you're on your own. But for now, heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Uncross your legs, bring your feet to the floor. And slide the legs out, bring your hands next to you, palms up into corpse position, shoulders down, relaxing deeply into that surface beneath you. Bring your toes together initially and just relax your lower body. Let everything release through those shoulders and neck area. We did quite a bit of work in that upper body today. Exhale, just let your whole body sink softer and deeper into that first support and let your body go. As your body completely relaxes, just allow your awareness, your body to release from your attention, letting your body just sink deeper into each one. And as you breathe, just allow those thoughts to just disappear as easily as your breath as well knowing that it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts disappear, drifting away with bad attention. And just turn your focus inward, allowing your awareness to find that peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being And if you're relaxing comfortably, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. 
If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the mind, to the room, to your body, with your breath. And as you breathe more deeply, just allow your body to just gently stretch and move however feels good for you. Breathing and stretching more completely whenever you're ready. And of course, when you're ready for your finally dug the hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, draw your knees up toward your heart, wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug any way that feels good for you today, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever you Thanks for joining me.